all right people welcome back welcome back to a, a video um this is gonna be a quick one not a planned one because well technically i took a break but uh we just got a brand new game that come uh got uh, came out holy crap and uh well this game has some performance problems uh to say it lightly um uh, I have seen a lot of performance videos going around and some of them are okay and true but some of them uh, also let you change settings that you well, technically don't really need to um, of course I did make a uh, two recordings uh, with these settings on that I recommend and with the settings off um, so but with that being said i am also going to show something that mostly the people do not do uh, is probably where we're going to start with um and that is actually how it works in unreal and showing the difference um so um of course the game you know it's in the settings or in the title but we're gonna start with unreal showing you the different stuff so i have unreal open here uh, I got my FPS counter there in the top. You can see it's like 70-ish FPS. Uh, I haven't locked it. So that's what it is. Um, so first, let me show you these settings we are going to change. So let's say the game has his, well, epic preset, right? You get, I don't know. In this case, let's say we got 20, 70 frames. The first things I always recommend changing um, are the following settings. So the following settings you want to change uh, if this game supports it, and this one does, um, is global illumination. Drop that to medium. Uh, you can see what it's doing, right? And you can already see the FPS boost. Now, um, what I always see, also see a lot of people doing, uh, putting it to low, what makes it even worse. Um, and they also use the command to put it on zero. Um, that's technically put it, taking it off and you can see what the hell is happening. But you can see already I gained 20 FPS, right? All right, great. Um, so let's say the next one, next big one is shading. Let me put that from epic to medium. You see 90s kind of the same fps every now and then it hits 100 let's put it on low it's getting one or two fps um okay so what would i then recommend lowering next well it's really simple the the the, the most next thing you want to change is a reflections let me also go to medium on this one and you can see we're over a hundred FPS. So technically those are the only three you have to lower. Um, you can of course um, set it on where you want it, but yeah. Um, now if the, the game is too bright when doing this, you can kind of counter that with using a uh, gamma. Just lower the gamma a bit. Um, and that will of course, um, make it a little darker um and then if if you still do not get what you need you can always go and uh, lower your shadows now uh, it may cap out here no not yet but uh yeah so that is kind of the the most heavier hitting um effects not really voyage yes but uh, even if i put that to cinematic for me it doesn't make any sense because i have no voltage in this pro in this project yet uh, post processing is also a huge one now only if i go here and i go here and go to my post processing i know you guys won't see it uh, but if i turn off my post processing well in this case it won't change much because my post processing is optimized it's not heavy but for example i put everything back to epic right 70 fps to turn off my post processing you can see i already gained 10 fps but in my case my post processing is not heavy it's optimized how it should be 
and yes this scene is also using lumen and ray tracing um so uh with showing in uh, engine stuff we're now going to um the actual game and i'm going to show you how to optimize properly without losing too much graphical stuff so of course we are uh talking about off the grid uh i have here the default game settings um, it's not fully default i did do some tweaks but as you can see i will put up a video here uh with the settings and of course um the gameplay and um when i where i use these settings when that is done we will be back and then i will show you the optimized version and uh, the gameplay from that so i'll see you back in a bit Okay, so now that we have seen that you can see that's just terrible now keep in mind i was also recording but uh yeah that didn't change much in the fps in game so as you can see that's just awful you can it's unplayable so instead what we are gonna do i am going to also provide you with this preset on my kofi page you can download it right there um for free of course um it's this one so the performance one is technically where i showed you shadow quality is zero or aka off uh while technically low flash off global illumination off reflection quality off shading quality off and that is where you see the uh, the second gameplay that i'm going to show you right about now So now you have seen that you can clearly see the difference um so yeah you don't have to tweak a lot to make your game run smoother and still okay looking um yeah um it's not much else i have to say it's actually pretty straightforward uh one thing you do want to do but you may have not to you, you, you probably don't have to do it because I already did it for you. But if not, just double check. Go here, right click on it, properties, and make sure you put it on read only. If you do not put it on read only, um, well, it will override the settings again. Now, I will probably also provide you uh, with the uh, correct, um, what is it? Um, gamma settings in this preset so you guys don't have to do that so you can see it's here this is the gamma so what i will do now in performance i just want to make sure that i don't have read only on and i am going to change this to one uh 1.2 maybe that should be okay i will be testing that of course um but yeah i make sure to put it back on read only so it doesn't overwrite but uh, yeah guys with that being said i hope this uh small information video actually helped you gaining some more performance 
if not let me know down in the comment and i will try to help everyone out as much as i can um with that being said guys i hope you all enjoyed and i will see you in the next one bye bye